Okay, let's talk about the exam registration. And one of the most important tips I'm gonna give you about the exam is to register early. So let's get into it. Uh, all, all candidates taking a CISSP exam must be scheduled through Pearson View. Now, Pearson View is a testing center. It's a testing administrator that administers this exam throughout the world. How do you get there? We'll go to View, V-U-E, that's virtual university education.com. So VUE.com, then you go for test takers and you search for ISC Square. And then once you do that, it'll bring you to the ISC Square section of the website. And then you go ahead and it says create a counter. It says login. Now, what you should be doing there is if you have taken a CISSP exam before or any ISC Square, you say login. If you have not, you say create account, follow the on-screen directions. Now, you should register for this exam as early as possible because there's always limited seats in the Pearson View Testing Center and you should register way ahead of time. Now, let me, let me explain to you what that means and why I'm going to tell you guys you should be doing this. I have over 55 different certifications, and people say to me, wow, you must be very dedicated. And I say, no, I'm not. I'm a slacker. I, I am the biggest procrastinator in the world is me. And people find that hard to believe. They say, well, how, how are you a procrastinator, but you're, you have taken so many exams? And people think I have a lot of certifications. I don't think so. I've been doing this for over 20 years, closer to 25 years, if you want to think when I was like a junior admin. And um, if you think about this, if it's close to my first certification I got about 25 years ago, and 25 years getting to a year is 50 certifications over 25 years. So I don't think it's that bad. But here's how I'm able to do it. I would register for an exam before I buy the book. I would register for the exam before I even start studying for the exam. And the reason I do that is because it forces you to study. Now, I've been teaching a long time. I've been doing part-time teaching since 1996. And I've taught a lot of students across the world. And uh, one of the tips I tell every single class I teach, every single, I should say, certification class I teach is I want you guys to go out, get registered for the test because that's what's going to force you to actually study. I'm a slacker. I know it. I am not going to study for this exam. I'm not going to study for this exam until it's set in stone, until I have no choice. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to go out and register for the test right now. I want you, when, when this video is done, don't continue to the next video. Go to Pearson View and register for the test. The question people are gonna say is, when should I take it? Well, most of my students averages between two weeks, depending on your background. You have a strong security background, you have a strong technical background, maybe it got uh, Security Plus and CCNA certified, maybe three weeks from now. Maybe you're not that strong. You don't have a great technical background. Maybe four or five weeks from now. Maybe that's a good time and you should be thinking about, but not more than six weeks. I tell my students, no one should be waiting more than six weeks to take this particular exam. Most people will take it about a week after my boot camps. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go Pearson View. You're going to schedule the tests. Now, you're probably going to say, but I'm not ready. I know you're not ready. That's the point. I want you to schedule it. I know you're not ready because you're going to be ready when you schedule it. Now, once you schedule it, what's the worst thing that can happen? Now, you're probably saying failure. No, you're not going to fail. Here's what's going to happen. If you schedule the test now, two good things comes out of it. Number one, you get a seat. A lot of times, students go to schedule a test a few days before and Pearson View doesn't have seats. So you're going to bypass that. You're sure to get a seat. Check your local testing center. I'm telling you, I live in New York City. It's always hard to get a seat. The second thing is going to force you to study. Now, you might be saying again, what happens? Well, the worst thing is I can fail. No, the worst thing is if a few days before that exam, you realize, man, I didn't study. I didn't review all the practice questions that he wanted me to review or I didn't go through all the the, the notes that he wanted me to review or that you didn't get a chance to review, reschedule the test. Don't walk into the test if you're not ready. 
just reschedule it. Now, Pearson View generally charges a few dollars, and it's never a lot uh, to reschedule the test. I think right now it's like about 40, 50 bucks or something like that to reschedule an exam. Hey, it's better than failing the test. And now you can schedule it for another date and you start again by studying or hopefully you can be more ready by that time. Okay, so what are you going to get away from this video? Oh, I should say, what are you going to take away from this video? You're going to go right now to Pearson View. You're going to schedule your exam. Do that right now. I don't want you to start the next video until you've actually scheduled your tests.